Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on our SAP Datasphere Overview Training with me Anubhav on anubhavtrainings.com. In our last episode, we talked about how can we utilize the concept of Python script and Pandas framework with SAP Datasphere Dataflow. In today's session, we are going to discuss how to use SQL scripting with SAP Datasphere live in action. If you are enjoying this video tutorial series, please smash the like button, kindly share and subscribe the channel and forward this video to your fellow colleagues so that they can also take advantage of this free training on SAP Datasphere. So let's begin our topic for today, SQL scripting with SAP Datasphere. So what I want to do today, my use case for today is to calculate revenue per country or per city. So I would want to get the total revenue of my sales per country or maybe let's say per city. So right now I have the data of invoices of supermarket and these invoices contain invoice number, let's say one and the quantity, the price, the type of payment, whether it was cash card or wallet, this is the information part of my table. I want to calculate now also the city information is there and many, many other information is there. So this is my input. My output I want is city name, total revenue per city. This is my output, but there is a catch. I would want to calculate the total revenue per city, but this cannot be done in one step. So step number one, what I need to do, I need to calculate the revenue by multiplying the price and quantity. But there is also a catch there. I need to check if the payment type is cash. If it's a cash payment, then I need to multiply quantity with price. But in addition, I want to add a tax amount. But if the payment type is not cash, then I just need to multiply my price and quantity. That's all. This is the requirement. And then we will get the revenue which we will have. So we will have city and revenue and invoices. Now we need to then step number two, aggregate this data to get total revenue per city for which we will apply a group by. Now to achieve all of this in multiple steps, we cannot use a single query perhaps. We can, but it becomes very complex. So we use SQL scripting. This will be a two step process which we will follow. So let me show you my data set, what I already have. You can see here, I have the city. That's a area of interest for me. Then unit quantity. Then I have the tax amount, yes. This is the information I have it available readily in my data set. I will be utilizing this information to calculate the revenue based on the type of payment. If the payment type is cash, then we will be adding this tax amount. Else we will not be adding or we will be giving a discount of this tax amount to the customer as they are adopting cashless payment with my business. So let us go ahead and utilize this column. So I have already uploaded this data set to my SAP Datasphere in the data builder. And this is uploaded as a database table called supermarket, uh, supermarket sales, you can see here. So entire data is already readily available in our, in our system, you can see here. So what I will do is now I will proceed further and use this information to write SQL script. So let's go back and create a new SQL view. And here, we will choose an SQL view of type SQL script. So let's call it as view sales revenue by city. We choose SQL script. And now we will just create our output columns. First of all, what I want to see in the output. So I want to just see the city and total revenue. But you know the calculation, how it has to be done. So city is 100 is okay and the revenue will be a decimal. 
10 comma 2 or let's say 15 comma 2 because it will be aggregated result so I just mark city as a key that is my final output I want now this will be done in multiple steps so step number one we will use our table to extract all the columns which we need in a another intermediate table so I will create my first table let's say tab one and I will select the relevant data based on my requirement so I'm going to switch over back and I say select city comma they need to multiply these two and add a tax but that should be based on payment method so we say case payment method when payment method is cash else and as revenue from my database table control space you can also look at the table over here from store data so you can see supermarket store data table this is the one I want so this is step number one so we will say if the payment is of type cash you can also go back and check here it's cash C capital then what we need to do we need to add the tax so we need to basically multiply the revenue and uh, to calculate revenue unit price multiplied by quantity with an addition of this 5% tax makes sense and this should be like this perfect so that's my input else it should be just a simple multiplication of unit and quantity and that we should be ended as a revenue so now we will have the revenue per city every record it will perform this and my final step I will say return I want to return the city in revenue but this time I'll perform an aggregation select city sum of revenue from my LT tab one so that matches with exactly my output formula output is structure which I want to return so this is a very simple example of adding SQL scripting and the best part about SQL scripting is yes unlike Python we can validate so you can see here we have a validation button to validate my SQL script I click on that and yes it is telling me there's an issue on this particular line number then was missing all right let's add a then when it's cash then and this cash should be a literal so it should be in single quote and I guess that is it here revenue should be in the double quote because that's a column name I wanted to use it and also I forgotten to add a group by clause because we are doing aggregation so group by city so that is my code let's check again and voila you can see my SQL script is valid it is the time to deploy the SQL and we should be able to get the output of the view with the total sales per city and all the cash payments in that city will be added as 5% additional tax to the revenue but all the non cash payment will not be considered for that awesome stuff so let us go ahead and test now our view and we can just click on data preview to view the data coming out so it says please deploy the view and try again there's there's some issue the viewing of data is not possible so I think we got to deploy again and just give it a try so it is deploying now and in just few seconds there you go we've got the total 
revenue per city and you can clearly see this wow so that comes to the end of this episode of how to integrate sql script with sap data sphere in next class we will talk about how to integrate sql script with data flows thanks for attending this session today all right so that comes to the end of this episode i hope you are enjoying this video series with me anubhav on sap data sphere so i would request you to kindly share this video with your fellow colleagues and also subscribe the channel if you have not done so so that you will be notified automatically once i upload the next video on this free series once again anubhav signing out look forward for live training on sap data sphere watch out on anubhavtrainings.com you can also send us an email on contact at anubhavtrainings.com for a detailed corporate training on sap data sphere thank you so much see you and goodbye